Hola and welcome to Mexico as well as part one of our Tulum adventure. We're actually staying here in Playa del Carmen because it's a lot cheaper to rent in Playa del Carmen and then drive about like an hour into Tulum. And our itinerary for today is first find a nice brunch spot in Tulum and explore kind of the overall area. Next we'll then explore the ancient Mayan ruins right by the coast and after that find a beautiful beach that's hopefully open. Uh, we're hoping to get into uh, Paraiso Beach, which we've heard nothing but good things about. We really wanted to go to Playa Ruinas, but apparently it is actually closed due to COVID. So just keep, kind of keep that in mind if you're traveling to Tulum during COVID and potentially catching some beautiful sunset skies on the beach. So we're very excited to kind of explore uh, Tulum today. And then our next adventure, which we'll be posting next week, we will actually be going to a famous cenote, as well as a very famous otherworldly looking lagoon, which we're also equally excited for. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And we're excited for the itinerary, even more excited to have you along with us. So let's go. So we're here at Botanica Garden Cafe in Tulum and we have ordered uh, some salmon and avocado toast as well as the huevos rancheros. Everything looks really great, really, really cool vibe here. So we're liking it already. Let's see how the food tastes. So we're here at the Tulum Archaeological Zone and just arrived and for perspective to get here first you need to park and pay for parking which is how much? 40 pesos per hour. 40 pesos per hour. Then once you park here you're going to walk straight like for 10 minutes to get to the official entrance uh, where we are now. To enter is 80 pesos per person. Plus, if you plan on recording with video like we are, it's also an extra 45 pesos um, as well. So just something to keep in mind for cost perspective. And then in terms of the actual archeological zone that we're going to now, this used to be an ancient Mayan city right by the coast with the original name of Zama, uh, which meant dawn or sun rising in ancient Mayan, because this is one of the first places that you'll actually be able to see the sun rise on the Yucatan Peninsula. So uh, we're really excited to kind of see the ancient ruins. Probably a nice place to have an ancient Mayan vacation home as well. So let's see what we can find. <music> Finishing up our time here at the Mayan ruins and have to say definitely definitely worth it I think the total price in US dollar for both Ali and I with parking with the videography fee and the entrance fee came to about 10 US dollars with the current conversion rate which is honestly really inexpensive especially compared to our previous trip in Costa Rica which would have been at least 40 US dollars for something like this I uh, got a really great workout in and even now in February it's still really really warm I think about uh, 85 degrees Fahrenheit so make sure you bring extra water if you do come definitely add this to your itinerary if you are planning a trip to Tulum and now uh, because Playa Ruinas is closed which usually you'd be able to access right here in the archaeological site we're going a little bit outside about seven minute drive away 
to Playa Pariso or Pairiso. Uh, I can't really pronounce it correctly, but it's supposed to be a really beautiful beach. And we're gonna hopefully catch a really beautiful kind of sunset skies and just relax there for the rest of the day before we um, go find a nice dinner spot. So let's go. sunset skies which you can still kind of see behind me here at Paraiso Beach and while the Sun doesn't set kind of in the horizon here based on our location the skies are still just as beautiful purple giant clouds and we actually even saw the moon um, while the Sun was setting in the kind of purple sky so really beautiful the fresh coastal breeze and the the water that wasn't too cool felt so nice clean um, there was some kind of seaweed all along the beach, which happens especially after a big storm. It's very typical for a lot of the beaches here in Tulum to get a lot of seaweed buildup, um, which looks kind of ugly, but the water is still very, very clean, and it was really nice overall. Uh, but I will say here at Pariso Beach at least, and as we can see kind of down the coastline, it was pretty busy and packed with tourists, so more crowded than we expected, although having people on the beach obviously <laughs> shouldn't be something too unexpected. But if you're looking for something a little more private and exclusive, you'll likely need to kind of rent with one of these kind of all-inclusive resorts that has some beachfront property um, that's only you know available to the residents. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is a public beach, free to kind of come. There's no entrance fee. Uh, you just need to kind of maybe find parking on the street if possible, which can be a little bit tight. And then once you get here, it's free to kind of lay down your towel and just chill. However, if you want to kind of rent one of the um, chairs that will cost you, we didn't do it so we don't really know how much, but probably not too much, um, just so, for some perspective. And now we're going, we're hungry, so we're gonna go grab uh, a bite to eat. Let's go. So we're actually back at our Airbnb because we stopped at this restaurant called Burrito Amor and had dinner. Dinner was great, really great burritos as well as really fantastic um, other healthy kind of smoothies, juices, and bowls as well. But the lighting was so bad that we weren't really able to capture anything on camera. So we plan to actually go back to Burrito Amor on our next Tulum adventure in vlog number two. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And we hope, uh, even despite kind of some of the darkness, that you loved the adventure today. And if you did, let us know by giving the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about um, our adventure in Tulum, if you've been before and have any other tips for us or other travelers to Tulum, let us know in the comment section before. And of course, lastly, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of adventures just beginning here in Mexico and we want to share all of them with you and have you along for the adventure. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you really enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next adventure.